There is nothing better than racing down a hill of snow, but as we saw for some tragedies last year, things can quickly turn dangerous. That's why News Channel 5's Olivia Michael reminds us of some sa safety tips. As a blanket of snow covers Middle Tennessee, children are grabbing their sleds and hitting the hills. But it only takes seconds for a fun day in the snow to turn dangerous. This type of snow that we've seen in the last couple of days, we almost expect the kids are going to come in with injuries. This viewer video shows a busy snow day at Shelby Golf Course, but many of those children are without helmets. I think if you're going to put your kid on a sled, go ahead and dust off that bike helmet and put them on a sled feet first. Uh, with their bike helmet on. Dr. Jeffrey Upperman says Vanderbilt Children's Hospital sees everything from broken bones to concussions as a result of sledding accidents. You really want them to have a safe, soft landing, and you don't want it to be dangerously steep. He says when sledding, pick an area away from roads, trees, or bodies of water. And not all sleds are made equal. And sort of those inner tubes and those other things that have no types of steering mechanisms, those can be very, very dangerous when smaller kids really don't have the, uh, the ability to fall off them correctly. So I would stick to the regular type of sled that you can kind of steer with your feet. Now as the powdery snow begins to freeze over, that means less friction and less control. You can have areas where you have snow and you don't see the ice underneath and the kid could think that they're on stable ground and easily slip and fall. And of course, the sledding could get fun with more speed, but also very, very dangerous. Another hazard, hooking sleds to motorized vehicles. Upperman says the only thing your child should be hooked on is your hand pulling them through the park. In Nashville, Olivia Michael, News Channel 5.